All right, boys, we picked up this mining rig, which has eight GTX 1080 Ti's, two 1200 watts 80 plus platinum PSUs from Cooler Master, a Z270 ASUS board, a random i3, four gigs of RAM, and a random SSD. Um, and well, we're gonna clean it up. Let's go. What you saw was the first step, you know, with the data back. But now we have the second step. And that is manually removing everything and cleaning them with tissues. Let's go. That's a kind of useful exercise for climbing, bro. Yeah, just train your creep, bro. <sighs> boys, we removed the first GPU and guess what? Jesus, if this is nasty, boys. Uh, I'm gonna clean it up properly with some tissues and we gotta remove all of them. And now look at this one, because it's pretty interesting. You see this clip? It slides, and if it's in this position, you can't remove the GPU. If it's in this one, you can actually remove it. So we have to start from this way and go that way to remove all the GPUs. Quite interesting, if you ask me. Now, interesting fact, zoom in a little bit. As you can see, those fans go directly inside the GPU, and they are standard 4 pins fan. And that is because this kind of Strix model uh, quite simply has a spare connector for a fan. Not just great if you ask me, like, imagine if you have to connect an AIO on it, that can really be a game changer. I'm getting good at this. We don't have any more space. Jesus. This test bench with all those GPUs, I gotta think about a nice, like, tower to, cre to make out of them, to, like, properly dust them off. And then, yeah, this mining ring look, looks way less impressive without the GPUs on, doesn't it? All right, boys, now we clean them pretty well. Or that's what I thought, because look at what's behind here. I mean, you can tell they have been mining for quite a while. Now, as you can see, those fans are pretty dirty. And well, you know, a lot of people say that if you wash them, you risk uh, destroying them, um, the fan will stop spinning in the right way, but this is why we are time watering PSUs, all right? We don't give a fuck, all right? Because we know they will work exactly like they did before. Now, I pretty much have no use for this one since I really am not into mining. So what we are gonna do is just swap out the plexiglass panels and use it as a random test bench. You can see we are building a little test bench, so I just ran over to pick up at an ATTI to see if the placement is correct. And, you know, it's not. And this is how the test bench turned out in the end. Probably not the best showcase since you have this guy here, and I still have to remove those ones, but basically I have a little plexiglass um, hold for my PSU, which is here. And I like soldered some wires, so right here they are, because I didn't have SATA. And now this this is where I place my motherboard with the GPU. I have like my cables already here, so I can just plug them all in. We have five fans. Um, if I want to overclock them like pretty high and I want maybe RAMs to be cooled. I have a lot of space for hard drives, stuff I want to try, etc. Uh, yeah, this one isn't attached. And yeah, came out pretty well. You know, I'm liking it to be honest. Um, maybe a little bit too big, like th this one is way better, but can't uh, um, keep this one as my test bench, so I guess this one will do. So yeah, let me know what you think down below. Well, today she's getting a wash too, all right. Now here we go. Let me just deploy her, all right. Now let me just go and open up the good old water, all right. Let me just open it up, come back. Yeah, we, we also wash the fans, by the way. Let me just take the water and bring it right where it belongs, all right? Here we go, boys. Now, with this much pressure, you wanna stay away from the pins because it's gonna break them, all right? That's why I'm not going directly on them, but like properly wash all the connectors. Then, you know, carefully flip it, very carefully. Give it on the back side as well, all right? And then, whoo! With the sun there is today, 
Jesus, guys, it's gonna be dried up real quick. How she gets dried up. How pretty. Nice. All right, boys, now a lot of people asked me, hey, why don't you water your PSU? Why do you always water budget PSUs? Well, guys, today we have this 80 plus platinum 1200 watt PSUs that's still working and I'm watering just because it's a little bit dirty and it, it's gonna be my test PSU so let me just deploy it let me just grab this hose and hose it down now if you hose it down and you hear like it probably wasn't discharged and it's probably broken but now we didn't hear that so it's perfectly fine now I'm mostly washing it for the cables so I'm gonna pay extra attention to them because like being honest I could have just avoided washing it in the, on the inside uh, but like I really needed to clean the cables so let me just go over them and well you can just swipe right to see how I actually dry it up since it's a crucial part all right now when it comes to drying it up uh, today again it's summer I live in Italy so it's pretty hot there are like 30 degrees outside uh, and so I'm just placing it outside in the sun um, and I'm placing some fans to keep it up and as you can see it will uh, you know here there are some holes and also here so the water will come down and it will also get pretty hot and so that's gonna be three quarters of the work and then I'm gonna prob pr probably use either a fan, uh, which is a hair dryer or a heat gun to dry it up even more all right just your average day at time watering PSUs we have some fans some fans keeping up a 1200 watt platinum PSUs and everything is wet then we have you know just to walk a little bit you know just want to go home and then whoo what's that oh it's a motherboard as you can see it's dripping that's why you want to keep it like this and then I will also rotate it a little bit yeah there we go we are of course coming back a couple hours later and well we have a few ants over there but hey completely dry boys perfect that's good all right i was telling you this time we also have this guy to turn it on look at how pretty you know you just slot it in Ooh. and you already have your power button here so you can just <laughs> red button all right now we take our handy handy uh, yeah don't don't mind the tiny eyes our handy hdmi cable all right there it goes you know put it in your handy hdmi part here it goes then all right we also have an ssd in there but we're gonna just put into the bias then we need a psu and this one does not have a cpu cable because we got it from the mine rig so i gotta run out and take the water one all right give me one sec first we just left the psu to dry up a little bit and you know two hours in the heat of Italy really do wonders but hey let me just grab it and go place it in our test bench inside there right? water of the PSU um, I believe it's dried up to be honest since you know two hours in Italy and complete Sun 36 degrees Celsius not Fahrenheit boys all right, here we here we are. Let me come on. Who needs CPU cooler? It's 2020. All right. Then uh, you can't use that one because it doesn't have a CPU cooler. Yeah. Yeah. Not not the best idea. All right. Now hear me out. Okay. Now if if my friend did not break this one, we can go on. All right. I'll take this one. What the fuck, bro? All right. Don't worry. Don't worry. You know. It happens. Now the fun thing is, if this does, doesn't work, we don't know if it's because the BSU is wet or because the motherboard is wet. Now, if we see lightning come out of any of, the, of them, you know, that one is the wet one, all right? Hand me out the um, CPU thing. Mm. Come on. Uh, all right. I mean, this is the one without it. Really? So this one has it? Oh, Jesus, all right. All right, we got the right PSU this one, this time. Uh, which is not the wet one, so we know that if it doesn't turn on, it's this guy. Uh, so let me just plug everything real quick. Hey man, can you help me out on the CPU side? All right, yeah, all right. A as we can see, it's connected. This motherboard is pretty great 
in the sense that you know if it has power it does this thing all right go on go on plug it right in oh man my man you've been working on computers for i don't know how many years and you still can't plug a cpu Shut up, bro. Come on, CPU connector. <laughs> Come on, man. Just plug it in. It's not difficult. I All mean... right, let me do it. Oh. Ah, my guy. My guy, my guy. You know, you just gotta slot one in, slot the second in, press real nice. Here it goes. Here it goes. All right, it's turned on. Let me grab my button. All right, here we go. Whew. Here it goes. It started. We have heat coming out. Come on, my man. It's going, it's going. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely feel some heat. We have our next level monitor here. All right, let's see if we get a nice signal. Give it some time, man, all right? It's getting a little warm, all right? Did it switch back on and off again? I mean, he's doing something, I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, maybe it's boot cycling. Yeah, that could be boot cycling. Oh, we also have a light here. Ah, now it's turning ah. on. Here we go, boys. Wet motherboard working. We have this very weird CPU here. Now, let me know if you've ever seen this before. Nice. All right, here we are at the uh, iWater MPSU's test bench. Now, stop laughing. As you can see, we are pre-testing some GPUs the ones from the mining rig. Now what we've done is test that they are actually stable. Then once we've done that, we just checked real quick and, and real roughly the overclocks and the score in Firestrike after it's, it has been overclocked. Now this one is probably the best, 200 on the core front of the memory, but this one is currently running on two, at 250, so it might beat it. And well, this is why if you see that a seller is selling a ton of GPUs, you probably won't get the best overclocks. Because a lot of people do this. You know, they just test 10 of them, they keep the best, and they sell you the other nine. And, you know, the only difference is that on the best, I'm going to be doing a soldered shunt mod. So, yeah, stay tuned for that.